We're back. You have to forgive us if we sound a little sniffly. We both got the ick. What ha we can say. Well, Jamie brought it back from the casino in Vegas. <laughs> so this is a one week to the day, right? You left on last Saturday. Yeah. You had the sickies all week, and this morning I woke up. Boo. <laughs> Feeling the same. The Vegas ick is no joke. Don't get too close to your monitor. You don't want to catch this. <laughs> or your phone. So we're going to persevere. Some guy had a really good, I'm assuming it was a guy, some viewer had a really good idea about this roof. And uh, that's what I want to address now, because I'm having a problem with it. No. I actually cut it off. Because look at this. I put the car outside for a number of days, and that's the, I do that a lot. I'll just put it outside, and you know you can see it from 100 yards, 200 yards, and you look at it. And the thing that was bothering me most was this. Mm -hmm. It's doing like this little waterfall thing. And I mm -hmm. thought, okay, well, it would be sort of like I'm body working the front, right? Or I'm just bringing it down. But regardless, this hump here is too high. And look how flat it is. So like it doesn't add any flow to the car. It looks very utilitarian. But I'm trying to give it the, the funky flow. So I was ruminating on that. One guy said, well, why don't you put a, a metal spine in the center? Try to Try to bring it up a little bit. And I thought, well, should be pretty strong considering the the tube that's in there and all the fiberglass on it but it is but i think we could flex it you know why i think we could flex it because you already tried it before i came out here that's exactly right <laughs> i actually had this off and i cleaned out the whole underside of it i took all the bits and pieces that were laying in there from all the really loose fabrication i cut out the whole back of the body Remember, the Ford-style fenders, they came around here. Remember Ooh. all that business? Oh, yeah, you cleaned it all up. I cut everything off. So this is kind of the look we're going for. Um, these fenders still, you know what I'm saying, they're a little yeah. wonky, but they'll be adjustable. And I took the roof off and flipped it over. We just blew the lid off. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. We just blew the lid off TV magic. People want to know how you build a car in 45 minutes, right? And how come you don't get builds on right away or whatever? Ian did behind the scenes to make sure that it was okay on the camera. That is correct. No, no, no TV magic here. We tell it like it is. Yeah, that's like it is. So I'm thinking of a couple things. Check this out. Over here, I want to push this. I want to push this down as low as possible and then i want to bring this up as much as possible so i started thinking what if instead of lapping it over the sheet metal there's only a little bit of sheet metal in there see that mm -hmm. what if i took it and slid it under then i cut this off because look how much yeah so there's this sheet metal here so what if i dropped this down into this trough and then there's all this sheet metal here, and it's very low. It's like I really like that flow as opposed to this little hard dip, right? Mm -hmm. Feeling me on that? So I think I'm going to try to accomplish two things in one bell swoop. I'm going to try to cut this off. So that it slides under, uh, make a few marks in this area so I can cut it and reinforce everything uh, when it's off. So I'm just going to put a drill underneath where the sheet metal, seems like the sheet metal comes about this far back. So I'm just going to take a drill bit and bring it straight up so I get a reference of where to cut this tube off so that this slides under that. 
So what I'm going to do here is uh, our sheet metal is underneath. I'm going to put the drill bit under the car, just butt up against and drill up. Can you see that? Uh-huh. It looks like the middle to me. Pretty good reference point. I could just chop that off right here, sand all this down. Let's just take the roof off. And a bunch of people said, oh man, that roof's gotta be getting really heavy. And it's like, yeah, it's heavy, but come on. I mean, just come on. <laughs> so what I did was put it upside down. While protecting our little ring-a-ding. See, I got all that board and business and foam that was in there. So I kind of did this. I was like, well, look at that. Looks flexible to me. I agree. So what if we put a little piece of uh, steel in there that we curved Maybe made like a little truss shape. I don't know. Let's check out this straight edge here and see what it does. Oh yeah, look at the underside. So it's very flat. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So to say from here to there, well, about this long. We're gonna to want to curve it. But I wonder if we should use this or maybe a piece of that angle, which is even stronger. But this would be stronger. Let's try that. So we wanna have this long plus enough to reach the wheel. So we're gonna go that, about that much on the other side, put it in the saw and cut it. It's interesting looking at it like this. With that yellow bug project, when I took that wagon roof off, I was like, oh, look at the shape of that. It's so deluxe. But something about this to me would be lacking without that roof at this point. You know, these way these fenders are just like, woo, like it needs the bulk here. But I love the front. I love this now. I want to try to stab that fiberglass right under here. I'm going to put a little curve on this and see what develops. Let's see what that little amount does. Oh, that puts the curve in it. So I, I want to over curve this so that, well, I might have to make a truss. It might just flatten out when I bolt it to that. I was thinking if I put a lot of stress in it and then bolted it through, it might curve it or I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll just flatten it back out. I'm hoping it just starts out like that. Pretty considerable bow. I should probably arch that more though. I mean, like that would look good as an end result. But I think when I try to stress that fiberglass in the shape, it's gonna push this down. See how easy that is to flex? Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if I shouldn't build a truss. Maybe I'll curve it just a touch more, and then we'll do that. Because really, we only need to go from here. See where it's tucking in the front? Mm -hmm. I need to work on that area. And uh, because this is fiberglass, I don't have a problem going in here and like doing some slices. Take some of that strength out of there, out of the fiberglass. Because uh, those were the comments. Like, well, the more weight you put on there and then it's in the sun, wouldn't it just continue to fall down? And that's my concern. So I'm going to curve this a little more. Because that's one of the things you see from 100 yards away. It's like, oh, look at that. Like, the bodywork is failing. His line is off. I'm trying to avoid that critique. So that was a lot of curve. And we really overshot the mark. <laughs> See how easy it is to push that down? Mm -hmm. So there, we're back in the we're back in the realm. I'm just gonna mark this where we need to cut it. <clears throat> we're gonna build the truss. You may say, well, shouldn't you thought of that before you started? I sure should have. What? What we got from working without plans. So yeah, I'm gonna cut right there and there. That's still a pretty considerable rise. It's more on the ballpark. So when we tighten it up, it's probably gonna flex. Uh, I think we should try to drill some holes in this, bolt it to that roof, and see if that doesn't change the shape. Uh, if it doesn't change the shape, then I'm going to build a support, the truss that I mentioned. Very similar to what you'll see on a bridge, see? I will cross over with a piece of material and then do a series of little uh, zigzag pieces will make this that big and it won't compress. Can you dig it? See this? See the axis? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm describing. Mm -hmm. You don't need axis per se, but you do need angles. And the dangle. Put this on drill press, make some holes. I'm going to use the drill press mm -hmm. like a pro. Oh. Yeah. It's one of those days. Ooh, now we got the drill. Nothing too technical, just a rough estimate of spacing between these holes. All right, so let's see what happens this here yeah we'll just start by bolting that we'll try to draw it down and see how it changes if it does curve this then we're good if it doesn't curve it then we're gonna have to build that truss just occurred to me that my hardware is not going to be long enough uh -oh. Curse. That one will be. The rest won't. Well, maybe they will. Let's see. Yeah, see. I don't need nothing to that fiberglass. Pair the truss.
wonder if I shouldn't drill all these first. No, I wouldn't drill them first because they may move as it just talking about so. Mm -hmm. So this hardware is just long enough to get through the, through the material. But what if, what if I went and countersunk through that plastic tube I just installed? Now I'll get at why I decided to drill all that and I flip it over. Put an R on that for rear so I keep it in order. R is for not the front. Flip it. So, this is what I'm thinking. It's a lot of material in here. What if I just open this up? This hardware is going to get buried. It's going to get tightened once and mudded over. So I'm going to take that big cone drill bit, open those holes up on top. I'll even hide a washer in there. I need one. Here's going on. Yeah, we got a lot of material. My uh, alignment of that thing in the center wasn't all that close, but that's not going to affect us. What I've done is uh, gone through that PVC tube that I laminated in there, and now I'm just showing up on a fiberglass. So yeah, this with a little washer should work out perfect. See, they're just gonna they'll disappear uh -huh. down in there. I see what you're doing. Yeah, let me get some air, blow this off. And I will move out of the way. Well, I'll make the truss on the table, then we'll clean it. Okay. So the theory is, um, see, I could take this and bend it, right? Mm -hmm. But, if you put a little stress in it and then lock it with those shapes I was describing, theoretically it won't bend. These are so close. Fortunately, we're going to lose those two end bolts. We're not going to be able to use them, but the critical thing is these center ones. I'm hoping this is strong enough. It should be because it's not, it's not undergoing any side load. It's just I'm going to try to flatten that. So yeah, let's just cut this, weld it on. Actually, you know what I might do to make it really strong? I might just put some flat bar tabs right there. Boom, boom, boom. Never mind the wire. I mean, I'll use this for the center. But yeah. Fire up that welder. Got a bunch of gifts in the mail. I went to the P.O. box yesterday. Yeah. What's that? Oh, wow. Thank you. Somebody wants to see a car cut apart. <laughs> we also got an invitation to a wedding. 
Thank you. We appreciate you. See this by itself. Look. Look how strong that is. I can't even push it down. You can't push it down, then it must be strong. And it's because you put that one wire there? Yeah. That's the truss? Now we're going to cross brace it. Oh, cool. Because see, now you got all this. So we're going to take this. That has the power to deform the fiberglass. See that there, what I'm doing there? Yes. So is this going to come into the headroom of the car? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Am I going to live with that? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm amazed. Super. Now, let's see if I can find those quarter 20 bolts. Oh, great oracle of the hardware bin. Release to us the hardware we are desiring. One, two, three. Come on, come on, come on. Four. Five. Nailed it. This thing just grows hardware overnight. Never lets me know. Awesome. And it's still quite hot. I cannot stand the suspense. Speaking of stands, we might stand this up. It's easy to... Can we stand it? Will it stand? Let's explore. Nope. I think you can lean it on this pillar, though. So, this is the rear, hence the R. That is warm. It's still that hot? Yeah. Still melts at 3,000 degrees. Oh. That's hotter than a summer's day in Malawi. I don't know about that. Don't you know? He's the ouch. Ah, always something. So that's got to slide in. Very technical. 
There it is. So hopefully this does something. The suspense is killing me. It's exciting, right? Mm -hmm. Hope it lasts. Oh, look at that. Huh? I'm gonna slide this in here and put the neck. I like that idea. I was gonna say. Might take two. Might take two of us on this. Oh my gosh! I get to help you. I don't know. I'm gonna huff and I'm gonna puff first. You want me to push it back towards you? You know, if I knew what I was doing, I would tell you exactly what I needed. I don't have a clue at this point. Hmm. I'm worried that by flat or by curving this, this is going to go whoop, whoop. Technical terms, we're getting out of shape. That ain't going to work. In a perfect world, we'd have a massive clamp that we could stick right through here and bring it together. Put on our thinking caps. Not every day. Well, I was thinking. If you, if I push it towards you, or you towards me, or we do it at the same time. I don't I know mean, how you'll capture that on camera. Here, you can hold this. Pour it well, I can put it. I can always change it to the thing. Here, I have a plan. Hold that right there. Uh -huh. Put your finger. So you're not actually pushing on it. Uh -huh. You're just keeping that screw from disappearing. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna work. This will work. See what I do for love. I'm the camera woman and Ian. Yep. Hey, uh, this is definitely a good trust. It does not want to flex. Don't go too hard, my little uh, No. It ain't gonna work, miss. We need a longer screw. Dang. Can I let it go? Yeah, I'm gonna change this out for a longer one. And then it'll work. We'll just have to nip it. We'll have to cut it as it draws it in. There's that one. Oh, that's gonna work fine. Through there. Oops. Oh, gosh. Got it. Nailed it. We're in. Ooh. I helped. <laughs> Dream work makes the team work. I think it's cool I was able to capture it on both sides. Definitely Talent. a master of documentary craft. <laughs> it's all that Mojave Desert footage we've been watching lately. All right, so we're getting some stuff. I'm gonna put one more here, one more there. Maybe a little 7 16 wrench on this, and we're gonna hear some cracking. We're gonna hear some adjusting. Sounds like spinal back sneeze. Let me see what happens here. All right, I can't put a ratchet in here. So it's gonna take a little while. It might be easier to schedule. Let's see, as this thread comes through, I'm gonna have to cut it a few times. But at least you're able to grab. So if I can't get this to pull all the way down, I mean, that's sort of okay too. We're just gonna have to blast this in 100%, but it might. So see how that's starting to hit? Mm -hmm. Let's get in and trim that each time. Closing in on it. <laughs> Bell, the curtain bell. The fiberglass is coming into position. And that's going to make this incredibly rigid. The amount of stress on this roof right now. Can't even imagine. So then basically, under the heat outside, it's not going to sag now. You have this, you have a stressed member. Just saying. 
technical jargon. Heck to the yes. I don't know what's not to like about that. I just wonder what effect it had on this. Lay it on the ground and see. So if this hasn't created a really good curve on top, it's probably somewhere in between, but it's super, super rigid now. So that's a win regardless. So before when we laid this up, it was very flat across the top. Oh look, that curved the heck out of it. So back to our original plan, we were gonna cut off that uh, round PVC tube at the drill holes. Okay, so I sanded this flat, took off whatever uh, supporting fiberglass I had in there, and I'm probably gonna have to do this a couple shots. Um, I wanna leave as much fiberglass here to push under the steel as possible, but it might not go all the way in. This might be too big. So let's fit it up and see what happens. The truss. Yeah, somebody gets credit. Somebody, somebody suggested you doing a truss? Somebody said, wouldn't you put a piece of steel in there to put some curve? Oh yeah, okay, uh-oh. So I did. I was able to lift it the first time really easily. You saw me, I was like, Ugh. uh huh. Well, you're not feeling the greatest either. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try to slide it under the sheet metal flange now. That's the goal. This is where like 10 large 20 year old helpers would work perfectly, but. You just got me. Not in the car. Jamie and I were just talking about a job I had in my teens. I was a teenager working in this deli, and it was such a cool time working, having fun, that type of thing at work. We don't do that anymore. No. No fun in this town. So, yeah, if we can get this under like that, move it forward, we get in there with a little pry bar and try to open that up a little. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut this a few times. But at least we got something to work with. I'm gonna start cutting this and bring it forward. We gotta go about four inches forward, but this is working. He said it was gonna be easy. Really, it's gonna slide right under that much. You're close. 
さサイプロファイル、そう much better。Yeah, we'll be able to screw through that like we we're describing. How do we get this forward? It's working out so good. I don't want to mess anything up. Almost should hit this up. It's always the case, isn't it? So close, yet so far. Here, look at the screw holes here. You got to come that far forward.、Mm. Same here. Ah. The old college try. Nope. Nope, that's it. Would you like me to hold? Would you like me to hold the front of the car while you push?、Uh, what's happening is the fiberglass is hitting the steel in a critical area. Oh. So I'm gonna have to get in there and do some nasty cutting. Do you want to see any nasty cutting on this episode? I mean, why not? We're here. Oh, starting to get out of the work. Oh, but you can't leave an episode without everyone getting their cookie. Nobody wants their cookie. Well, all right. Here comes the baker. We're gonna bake some cookies. Ah. <sighs> I think I'm gonna cut this with the shears. That way, I don't get dusty. That's gonna be my official statement. Oh, it's wet right there. But this is gonna be incredibly strong, which is awesome. It's hitting this. Just a little bit too wide. I think I'm gonna slide this whole thing back, and I'm gonna cut this on the with the grinding wheel. Let me make a couple marks. You see, it's too wide right here.、Mm -hmm. We're only an inch and a half away. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. Learning what I learned from pushing it in there. Just gonna trim around. Got everything trimmed out. Let's try it again. Line up. I want this up. Out of here. Yep, I like it. Gotta gotta put a strap through that hole. It's funny. It's funny. A lot of people are asking what the hole is on the back of the car. It's for this. <laughs> Bada bing! No, it's actually、uh, that's how you put on the keychain. Mhm.、Mm、that's it. It works. A little bit of messing around in here. Bring that together, but that's it. Yes, yes, that's it. That did it. All right. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put a whole bunch of hardware on this eventually. Uh, we're still not attaching this roof because I got a lot of other structure to do, but look at that. I do this a lot for envisioning purposes. I'll just take this down a bit. See, we're going to follow that line right through. I'm going to fiberglass the heck out of this. We're going to make a really strong bond with fasteners, or like what we did here. But that's it. Now it's got a curve. So we can follow that. So you'll build up this front part. Where Well, so yeah, this will rise up when I fasten it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really wanting to attach it yet. Right. See, this is going to just pull up. Oh, it's fouled on a piece of steel. There it is. So, so this whole, this gets glassed. The whole thing gets panel bonded and fiberglassed in. So let's push it outside and take a look at it. I think the lower profile is really going to work out. That really brings the crown of that roof down. Wouldn't you agree? Agreed. Good deal. So we're taking that big, massive, bulging type of forehead off of it. And we're going to carry on with some other stuff next time. Until then, we're going to go convalesce. And like Jamie's mom said, little by little. Mm-hmm.